Rim Rims, do not panic. Today's episode is, that's right, sponsored by a very lovely YouTube channel by the name of Elise and Sam. Do you enjoy roughly 30 minutes of incredibly inappropriate conversation? Then stay tuned for the rest of RimWorld. <laughs> but what if you want another 30 minutes of incredibly inappropriate conversation? Then you can watch Elise and Sam. I'll link it in the top comment if I remember, or I might be asleep, who knows? You're missing out on such incredible gems as... We're just horny for everyone in Star Wars, apparently. What, General Grievous? I'm distracted by the clap of fucking Miss Piggy's critiques. Are you know for a fact she, like, dons Kermit. <laughs> she puts on the full-on... She stomps on his cock. Oh, yeah, she gets the heels on, and he's like, Bring it on, you bitch! And then she's, like, fucking stamping on him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What do you think a safety word would be? I feel like bacon or something, wouldn't Sausage. it? Sausages. Sausages. <laughs> and I've absolutely no idea what I've edited in there, but I assume it's hilarious. Fine, okay, it's not actually sponsored, it's just me. It's more stuff I'm doing, but you should go and watch it. It's, it's really funny. And now that unnecessary shilling is out of the way, hello everybody. Welcome back to a lovely day here on Rim Rim World. We have rain absolutely everywhere, mummy milkers runs wild, and a freezer full of xenomorphs. What war could you want for a Remod series. Now today, I want to bring unity to the colony. I want to get everybody some weapons, and I want to get everybody some armor, because right now everything's a bit of a mess. As we talked about yesterday, the xenomorph armor that we were going to craft with the xenomorph leather might actually be a lifesaver. It might be the only way to adequately fight the xenomorphs, which we seem to be doing with uh, surprisingly increasing frequency. I'm also thinking... Heavy flamers? <laughs> Huh. It's not something I've really used before. With the uh, with the vanilla weapons, expanded heavy weapons, I've generally stuck to, you know, kind of the auto cannon. But I feel like we should we should test out some of the other ones, right? And the heavy flamer. Imagine this: heavy flamer, drill sidearm. I like it. We're gonna need a lot of chem fuel. We're gonna need a lot of components. We're gonna need a lot of steel. Um, my God, they are expensive, aren't they? These power tools to craft. But the power tools are very very good. We got construction speed, mechanoid shredding. The jackhammer gives obviously massive mining speed, but low move speed. The drill is just like insanely good. 80% general labor speed just for having that as a sidearm. Granted, they won't have a melee weapon. Well, I suppose the drill is a kind of melee weapon. To be honest, the drill is so good because it's general labor speed. That's everything from, well, let's say it's there. Stone blocks, refining, burning items, tailoring clothes, creating art, etc. Things that have no skill associated with them. That would be pretty, pretty nice to get every single person one of those. I'm not going to say every single person gets a heavy flamer, but I would like, you know, I would like a good few of them. Maybe maybe to make up for, like, Major Pain, General Joe not having as good a weapon as, as some of the other people. There was also one of the rare genius comments in the comment section yesterday. Somebody said, check the level for smelting... Oh, yeah, shit, look, there you go. For, for smelting these before we make too many plans. So, to bulk smelt gold fern, I think for regular smelting too. Yeah, so just for smelting them regularly, you need 16 crafting to do that. Uh, we've got to be almost there, right? Oh, we've, we've just got it. Okay, fantastic. I was going to say, if not, we'll just get Major Pain to uh, blitz this out. But what that does mean, though, is if we want to create that gold, we're going to have to stop Major Pain making all the drills. We're going to have to get Major Pain to stop making the Xenomorph armor, which is going to take a bloody long time, and instead focus on that. So, if we can get components from elsewhere... That should definitely be our priority. Hello? A freak small-scale hailstorm is ravaging the local area. Mummy Milk is going to get absolutely pelted. Somebody also asked in the comments yesterday if you took acid damage from butchering xenomorphs. It doesn't actually look like it. Um, they wondered if the electric butcher table or the regular butcher table took damage. But it seems to be absolutely fine. So it means that we can get our xenomorph leather that we need for our armor there. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about the chicken hat. <laughs> it means that there isn't really a gamble to getting the xenomorph leather. We we don't have to worry about it after they are after they're already dead. What do we do with the carapace then? Uh it's polar silica making it immune to acidic effects. What do we do with that? Cause we make the can we make hang on like a like a different type of uh this kind of a different leather? Xenomorph No, we've got xenomorph leather, and we can also make it apparently out of Arcotech mass. Uh, what about... So the Ravager Armour's Leather, does it count as maybe a cloth instead? No. I want to know what you do with that. So let's give you the drill as a sidearm, and that'll help him with crafting the clothes faster. Look, I'm going to keep him awake. I know I shouldn't really be pushing him this far, but if we get another Xenomorph attack, 
this could be the difference between somebody dying and not. Rest in peace, beefy boy. Gone but not forgotten. If only you were alive for a couple more days and could have had a nice vest that would have stopped you melting into a puddle of acid. Masterwork is in a morph leather boots. That's incredible. Okay, well, he's done a good job there. We'll let you have a little bit of time off then, Major Pain. Nice, there's advanced fabrication too. So I think I will leave them to research the kind of regular stuff. After that, I've gone for work attire. So if we can make like xenomorph leather jumpsuits, xenomorph leather chef's hat. You've got to think about these things. What the hell is this, Chainsaw Joris? You just ate my mummy milkers. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, mummy milkers did not go down without a fight. They've almost taken out Chainsaw Joris. Ah, oh, I wish I could tame you. No one's got any good animal handling at all. How are we going to train that up? Because even the rats require four animal handling skill. We just need to buy an animal and then... I think if you buy an animal and then, and then try and train it, training uses less skill than taming, right? Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, uh, General Joe. No, 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 I don't need to call up whoever the hell that was. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah trade with them. What have you got for me? Vat-grown Titan Beetle. Vat-grown Royal Maggots. Uh, what do you think the animal skill is needed for that, then? Does it say? Uh, minimum handling skill five? Oh, God. I assume the Titan Beetle is going to be way higher, six. Damn it. I wonder if I could just buy that and see if it works. Do you want to buy some genetic material here and maybe inject it straight into chainsaw hands? Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? If we go train in guard and attack, obviously I'm not interested in that at all. But if we then take... Uh, who is our best? We Bucko. But Howard... No, no, no. Howard the second has the passion. Can you... No, we still need five for it as well. Damn it. We're just going to have to get someone with a high animal skill. I might have to just build a wall around Chainsaw Joris. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. So let's get Colonel Moose to rescue Chainsaw Joris. Then we put it in this nice little bamboo prison. I, I, I mean, zoo. It's a zoo. Uh, all I've got to do is remember to feed the bloody thing. Uh, Tending to chainsaw Joris. Good work. There we go. Hey, now all we've got to do is feed it. Uh, have we got like a... We, we could make just kibble. That's not a bad idea. Uh, do until X where X is, I don't know, 100. It doesn't really matter that much. And then set so kibble can only go in there. So our regular animals can't eat it. Stockpile zone, clear all. Let's go critical and kibble. Okay, there you go. So now all we've got to do is bide our time until we can get someone capable of taming Chainsaw Joris. You see, that's the best part about modding. Reality can be whatever I choose it to be. How does this work? We just implant it, right? Uh, warrior genome, royal genome. Uh... How do, we, how do we implant this black hive genome? It's not on the list. Uh, what, is that just not how it works? You just inject it, right? Oh, I wonder if you need something else. It says not compatible with royal genome, sure. But we might actually need the warrior or... So yeah, it won't combine with the royal genome. We might need something else. Are they still in orbit? No, they're not. Bugger. Well, next time, maybe. You remember how I said, you know, we're playing on Merciless. So ideally, we want to... He's stolen Jaris's bed. Maybe you shouldn't hang around with, <laughs> with Joris, that grown royal maggot. There we go. Remember how I said let's stay below 100,000 wealth because we're playing on Merciless. And if we go too hard, too fast, then they will pretty much wipe us out. Uh, yeah, we're up to 150k. Who are you? Oh, hang on. This Empress Evil as well, isn't it? Wait. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. Where is that happening? Okay. Well, there's one. Okay, okay, this could be fine. Animal handler, though. Three. Oh, damn it, double passion, but no skill. That doesn't help things. Hey, my farms. If you hit my plastil, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pissed. Who's that? They're dead. Matel. Animals. <gasps> Twelve point six three. Colonel Moose. Capture. There is. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gambling it. It's. It's not worth it. Colonel Moose. Capture. Go. What faction are they? They're just independent refugees. Nice. We now have a way to get Chainsaw Joris. Pyromaniac and Industrious. Pyromaniac is terrible. They've got no shooting or melee stats at all. Industrious, though, could be very, very good. And animals. Oh, there you go. The space battle is ending. So there isn't anyone else. Uh, you got a few more dead bodies here and there. What do they drop? Wake up. Oh. But the best part of this is we can take apart all of the ship chunks now. What do we get? 12 in total. Jesus. Oh, no. 
Go on then. What have you got for me? We've got a raid. It's a non-specific raid. So, so when it's the Empire, it'll say, you know, the Imperial Sovereignty or whatever. I think this is probably some horrible Cthulhu monsters. Yep, something otherworldly is stalking your colonists. What the hell is even that? I've never seen these before. Whoa, hello there. Shoggoths. Enemy unit from the Mountains of Madness. Oh, large oily masses that shift and change shape according to their needs. Uh, apparently what they need right now is... Japanese schoolgirls? Oh, dear. What's wrong with Tess? Food poisoning. <laughs> well, never mind then. Life goes on. Uh, brilliant. Oh, God, it's Mallory also got food poisoning. Right, see, now... I think that might be down to the fact that we baked a bunch of Chthonian strips star vampire meat into meals. And I think that may have an, a, a somewhat detrimental effect. So, I guess I could say don't butcher the monstrous creatures. But by not butchering them, you're running the risk of the, like, minus 60 opinion or whatever comes from that. We could have some turrets, couldn't we? Hello. What's about these things are fucking tough as nails. Let's get out there then. Oh, God. General Joe, kill. They have ammo. God, I hope everyone's got ammo. Not really. Large more. 89%. Okay, so they're not that powerful. I think Chainsaw Hands is um probably probably outclassed a little bit here, I won't lie. Bucko, get to work. God, I hate this. Oh, they're horrible. Mallor, have you got ammo? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, they're not insurmountable. They are very, very powerful, though. Just keep moving back. Keep them at maximum range. Just be careful of Mallory and everyone else who has food poisoning. Oh, God. You know what, Mallory? Just fuck off. Honestly, just get out of here. Mallory's just been shot by one of our people. That was probably the kindest thing we could have done for her there. Okay, keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. How are we doing on the ammo front? We're doing okay. We're actually doing fine. Uh, Bucko, I appreciate you here to help and all. Maybe don't use a drill. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I probably could have noticed that a little sooner that Bucko was trying to fight a massive mountain of madness creature with a fucking black and decker, but never mind. What a horrible noise. Well done, team. Good work. That actually wasn't as bad as I expected. There was also one more, but there's something cool that we can do now. So someone explained in the comments yesterday how this actually works, that you have to use Bucko on the person to mark them with their worthy kill. These apparently count as quite worthy kills. They're probably not that good. 8.16. What's Chainsaw Joris by comparison? Uh, 9.8. I mean, it's a bear with chainsaw legs. I mean, that's kind of to be expected. But I mean, even that is better than nothing. So what we do then is we go use Major Payne's Shoggoth kill to mark them as honorary blooded with Bucko. And then in theory, how does this work? So you're going to cut a bit off of them and use that to burn it into major pain. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's cool. And then they are blood marked by a Xenos Shoggoth. Oh, I wonder then if that isn't their name, but that's the, the kind of type that they are. Di Dinornis, whether that's kind of like a scientific class or something like that. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, blood marked by... Where is it then? Oh, Mark Shoggoth. There it is. There you go. Three, three opinion for that. That's pretty good. So Chainsaw Hands didn't kill any on account of having, well, Chainsaw's for Hands. There you go. That's everybody marked. So it's Howard, General Joe, and Crimson there too. Nice. Hmm. I feel like it's going to have a detrimental effect to mood, but maybe that's just me. It's a minus 20 every time you see one of those. I think it still applies when they're dead as well. Chainsaw Hands? Uh, oh no. No, when they're dead, it's fine apparently. Oh! Are you... Oh, I'm so angry at that. If they get into a social fight and the mounted plasma caster is on, it fires at them automatically. Oh, you can fuck off with that. That's ridiculous. That was like an insta-kill as well. Oh, rest in peace, Test Tickle. Killed by a mounted plasma caster. It destroyed a liver and a right kidney. Oh, fuck off, Bucko. Can't believe that. 
high-powered futuristic plasma caster incinerating them because they called Bucko a shit. Bucko, you are a shit. Where did the body go? I didn't even have... Oh, no. It's not in here, is it? <laughs> Never mind then, I guess, Joe. Don't worry about it. Apparently, Test Tech was being buried somewhere. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. I'll open them up. I'll find her. There she is. Right, okay. Now, this time, we say human-like corpses, but no colonist corpses. Good night, Tess. Taken before your time by bad game mechanics. Wow. Salient versus Predator mod has indirectly killed two of our bloody people now. <laughs> oh, got a high psychic drone as well. Well, okay. I mean, look, at least today's raid wasn't that difficult, right? Um, let's go ahead and swap that over to non-medical. Can we just, like, escort you to bed? Maybe, like, wake you up a bit? Oh, God. Major pain. High psychic drone. Oh, bucko, don't kill another one. Did you just drill major pain? <laughs> oh, look at that. Plasma piercer shock. What is that? Plasma piercer can shock and knock down most human-like or large creatures. Okay, that's fine, then. So it's kind of like a, j just a stun rather than a stripe. Why the hell couldn't you have done that to Tess? Turns out Bucko had a way to uh, non-lethally take down people anyway. Am I feeling any better, Tess? Huh? Oh, no. I don't like any of those words in any of those orders. We've got a raid imminent from the Mojave Task Force. Which one is the Mojave Task Force? Is that the Brotherhood? Uh, yeah, okay. So we've got the Brotherhood of Steel. So boys turning up with big old power armor. And then we've got... Well, it's been a great campaign. Thank you for watching, everybody. We are officially dead. Uh, so, 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 so. Let's throw down something. Uh, we don't have embrasures, do we? Uh, you're going gonna, to you're gonna need that security. With turrets? Just put down a bunch of turrets? What the hell's a sentry turret? Oh, that looks fun. Hey, what is that? Is you uh, power usage? No power usage. Wait, what? It's like a better version. Oh, it does have power usage. Got it. Uh, it's a Sentry SMG. Oh, these are all good. Um, well, let's throw down one of these then, shall we? Uh, I suppose we've got a little bit of uranium, right? Oh, yeah. Only enough for one. Fine, we'll put it out of steel then. I assume we can't build a bamboo Sentry turret. We've got 12 hours to throw down whatever defenses we can get here. And I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not confident at all. Let's throw down a searchlight then. Those are always pretty good, aren't they? Uh, let's go sandbags. We can't get rid of this. This is overhead mountain. If I try and mine it, the game will say, you know, can't mine this because overhead mountain will collapse. I've actually never seen that before, um, but it's very, very handy. Anyway, let's throw down the sandbags back here then. And then I guess we'll throw down a couple of the searchlights just to dazzle the Brotherhood as they come around. What's their range on that? Yeah, that's an okay range. Um, maybe even... A few bear traps just to try and break up the numbers a little bit. I suppose that could work. Okay. Here it goes. Chainsaw Hands is absolutely going to be able to get that final turret built. That's all we've got. Can it connect up from there? It bloody better be. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We haven't got the power for it. Minus 2,400. What are we up against then? Is it just those? Oh, oh, look, 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 look. We've got... Oh, God. Okay. Three, four people in power armor. We've got a laser Gatling gun, a laser Gatling gun, a whatever this is. The Bullseye MK1 is an American design reverse engineered variation of the giant ch Chimeran, Chimeran Bullseye that appears circ I don't know what the fuck that is. And then we've got this thing, charge rocket launcher with, oh, nine rockets. Well, that's good. And then down towards wherever they are, we have a coil gun. We have, uh, I don't know what a Rockwell big bazooka is, but I don't want to find out. This guy's dual wielding. And then we've got Vlad. I mean, compare this to the last raid we had. How is this even remotely fair? So they're going to prepare for a while, then attack. So we've got a little time to uh, sort everyone out here. Let's get into let's get into a kind of lineup. Let's move you out the way. Okay, that's the best I can do. You know what? I will allow the return of the shoulder-mounted plasma cannon. I willingly besmirch the memory of Tess Tickle. What a sentence. Come on, fight me. Let's focus on... Oh, God, our prisoners got... Okay, that's fine. It did just occur to me. Uh, we are eating uh, rotten meat meals, which is generally not considered particularly healthy. That's probably why they're getting food poisoning rather than the dirty cooking area at the end of the day. Okay, here we go. So focus on the rocket launcher knights. 
Maybe they'll waste the rockets. Oh, although to be fair, they've got a lot of rockets. I can say maybe they'll waste the rockets on the turrets. Oh my god, can the turrets not even get through their armor? Oh, they can. Okay, we can definitely take out the little guys. What about the big guys? We can do a little bit of damage there. Shot their eye out. Bruises and cracks. Oh shit. These sentry turrets can't even get through their armor. God damn it. Unless we hit them right in the eye, but obviously they haven't got a uh, a full on helmet there. Yeah, we've got to go headshots on this person. Good shit. Wow. What's their armor like? T51B. That's pretty good. Carrying capacity 25. Okay. Two down. Another, what, like six to go? Where are they going to go? Are they going to run up through? No, they're coming down through the front entrance. Okay, that's good. I hate this. Oh! I don't know where that ended up. It says zero out of seven. Does that mean they're now completely out of ammo? They've also got a triple rocket launcher and a plasma beam rifle. This is a little... That's a little over the top, my friend. This gun might be a lot harder to take down. Look at this. My guns aren't even affecting them. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a slight problem, isn't it? Let's hope the buckos... Oh, yeah. Look, look. Our regular guns are... No, no, we're not. We're not even doing damage with our regular firearms. Oh, this armor they've got is just absurd. Death by a thousand cuts out. What the hell is a plasma beam rifle? I'd like that. Vanilla Factions Expanded Insectoids. Oh. That's the first squad more or less taken out. That turret is out of ammo. That turret is now out of ammo. We've got the Steel Sentry Gun. Those laser miniguns look insane. Oh, they are insane. Well, that's good. On the plus side, it's, an, it's a nice distraction, isn't it? Hopefully our guys can get through there. I think, honestly, Bucko might be the only one that can actually kill these guys. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? What are they stealing? They're taking back their tech and leaving. That seems fairly on brand for the Brotherhood of Steel. I like that. Stealing the big bazooka. Bring him down. Bring him down. Oh, come on. Yes, Bucko. It is Bucko. His plasma pistol. Yes, nice. What a kill. Was that necessary? You had to go and just smash that turret before you actually left. You son of a bitch. What have you got? Stealing plasma beam rifle. I kind of wanted that, but I'm going to let him take it if that's the cost. Bear in mind, they've got a lot of rockets that I'm not really interested in. Come on. That gun, whatever the fuck it is, that thing, actually insane. Oh, what a kill. XR minigun. What is that? It's just, uh, it's just uh, a minigun then. Fantastic. Fat Larry would be proud. We've got two more that aren't fleeing. So let's hold position. You just went and reloaded, right? Yeah, fantastic. Whole position. When they've killed this, they'll probably actually move into the base. Oh, they're actually fleeing now. Oh, whoa, look at that. He's got himself trapped in a corner. Chainsaw hands? Bring bring them chainsaw hands. They're right, they're right there. What do you think? Oh, it's a bad day to be you, Richard. Oh, she is gonna open you like a tin of beans, my friend. Chainsaw hands. Slay. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I don't think she's actually going to beat him because he is wearing essentially a tank. She's got nothing. Oh, come on. You can do it, Chainsaw Hands. I believe in you. Let's bring Bucko down. I actually can't believe it. Oh, poor chainsaw hands. Well, it's down to Bucko now. Bring him down, Bucko. Oh, the plasma shots. That's it. Barbecue. Are you okay, chainsaw hands? What did you lose there? She lost a limb. <gasps> she lost a leg. He ripped her leg off. She, she was unmovable. Unstoppable. Until he quite literally... Well, I mean, he stopped her. I'd argue that she's fairly unstoppable if the only way you can stop her is by pulling her leg clean off. I think that's, uh, that, that's a hell of a thing. What have we got here? Gorse rifle. That's quite nice. We've got to see what this thing does, though. The XR minigun. Do we get anything else of any value there? Not really, unfortunately. Obviously, we can't do much with the power armor. ST50, T60 power armor. I assume that's the best one they've got access to. Yeah, wow. Damn, that's a shame. So we didn't really get anything of super high value. We can make some rockets for the rocket launchers. We did get a charge rocket launcher, too. Uh, and obviously the triple rocket launch there as well. Oh, that's actually got some ammo in it. Outside of that, that wasn't the best haul. We weren't really doing it for that though, were we? No. This better not be a... 
A what? A wandering horde? What the hell is a wandering horde? A wandering horde. I don't even know what mod that could possibly be. Factions? A wandering horde. Wandering horde, wandering horde. This one? Forsaken Syndicate? No, they're like a future tech thing. It's not going to be the Predators. We know it's not the aliens. We know it's not the mutant army. Could it be the Nutty Swarm? A wandering horde. I don't know what that is, and I'm not sure I want to find out. We need you back on your feet as soon as possible. And if I don't do this, Juice Seder on Discord is never going to let me hear the end of it. Colonel Moose. It's a uh, tie on a peg leg. Chainsaw hands. <gasps> the guinea pig of marriage returns. Something else for chainsaw hands to behead. My friend, join me. Matel. Oh, no. Mallory. Okay, that's fine. Matel is here. Hello. And that brings us within striking range of <gasps> Chainsaw Joris. She knew what I was about to say. Train him. This is probably very dangerous. She is a large naked lady trying to feed rice to a polar bear with... I mean, chainsaws for legs. This is a horrible idea. Oh, shit, mate. Oh, 4% chance. 4%? That could take a little while. We might have to train up our animal skill. Maybe wait for her to get an inspiration or something like that. Shit. Oh, my God. It's feral ghouls. Oh, they're hideous, aren't they? <laughs> uh, okay. So, over here, we've got 20. And then there was another one. Yeah, here we go. We've got... How many are here? 14. Shit, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, chainsaw hands is anesthetized, I assume. Got the peg leg installed. That's fine. You got any ammo in that? You do. Let's just get you reloaded. And then I guess we'll head straight out to the front line. General Joe, get the flamer. Okay, they're, they're quite... They're quite weak. Okay, they're not, they're not that strong. But there is a bloody lot of them. So let's not piss around with this. We could be a little outgunned. Well, to be fair, that's basically the first part of the horde destroyed already, isn't it? Whoa! The flamer! General, I might get you to uh, hold fire until they're a little bit closer because you just basically scorched all this and we got nothing to show for it. This gun that Matel has is insane. This is, like, really, really good. It's like a... Just like a laser rifle, basically. A little turret that could. Come on, little turret. 45 shots left. Right in the sternum. How many, how many more ghouls have we got? Like, 18, something like that. Still standing. Anyway, really should have grabbed that XR minigun, shouldn't I? It's like they're specifically trying to avoid our line of fire. Are they that smart? No, I don't think so. They might just be trying to avoid the actual fire fire. Damn it. My little turret that could. Well, they might take out a few of them with it. I softened them up. What are they doing now? Mallory attacking Mallory. Uh. What? They're going round? Hey, I don't like that. Uh, let's come forward then. If they're going round, we'll come forward. Careful raids. So because of careful raids, when enemies from a raid die in a particular place, the other raiders will try and avoid it. That way it's anti-killbox, anti-traps, that type of thing. Because another feral ghoul has died right there. Crimson, you are a brave man. Oh, sweet Jesus. You know what? Credit to you. That was that was insane. I can't believe it actually worked. So they'll try and avoid places where other ghouls have died. Shit. Well, that's going to make it a little harder. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Right in the toe. How many more are left? Bloody loads of them. Uh, maybe just take a step back. Guinea pig of marriage? Uh, how about this? Fuck off. Oh, God. Okay, all right. I feel like they are still heading up now. So let's keep backing up. Bucko, good work. Now they're going back again. Okay, oh shit. I don't like this at all. They're going to do a lot of damage in melee. Bear in mind with Igor Invader, all damage is doubled as well. Shit, how many are left? Quite a few. Actually, quite a few. Oh, they were going round there. Oh, that's actually quite clever. Okay, we should be fine now, though, I think. We need to get all these bodies buried. But other than that, we should be good. We'll have three left. Wow. That was, um, that was something. I, I actually completely forgot about careful raids until they did that. It does mean that our kill boxes in the future are, well, basically not going to work, for lack of a better word. We're good. We're absolutely, oh, thank you, Major Pain. <laughs> the Major Pain right now being food poisoning, apparently. Come on. 
You can do it. 4% chance and still a failure. We'll get it eventually. You will join us, Chainsaw Joris. And our gold has grown. Hey, fantastic. So obviously Bucko's been helping out with a lot of the crafting too. I wonder if they're both crafting level 16 now. Uh, certainly looks like it. 15. Oh, come on. How close is Bucko though? 15.4. So it'll be long before they can both work on that. And that's going to let us get a nice consistent amount of resources. Getting everybody on smelting will eventually probably be something we have to do. We'll have to build quite a large building, probably just filled with smelteries like we have done with uh, other series where we've used the uh, the resource plants mod. Today has been uh, horrible. It's been horrible. It's been our, our, our existential dread. We had Chogoths. We had Feral Ghouls. We had the Brotherhood with their many, many rocket launchers, i.e., Please don't hurt me, father. Many a brave Rimwall character has died to the rocket launcher, but... Well, we got a faction uniform, which is pretty good. Heavy Joe. Heavy Joe. <laughs> Probably some relative of Fat Larry. General Joe has the Heavy Flamer, and we've got Matel, soon to be renamed, who has the potential to bring on board the Chainsaw Joris. Thank you all for watching, for better or for worse. Wow, that was, uh, that was a real exercise in mundanity today, wasn't it? Thank you to the patrons for allowing this to all exist in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Sel Royland, Gammon Jude, Jobo da Daddy, Summeth, Voodoo Mumbo, Cobalt Kitsune, Justin Rules, Bond Dollar, Cyric Through and Three, Daily Barbarian, Adam Spleen, Londa, Psychofire, Dietz, Kevin, and Mr. Moma, along with everyone else, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. I've got a little bit of backlog with Patreon messages right now just because I get well, I get a lot. I'll be, I won't lie to you. I get very many. So I'm going to catch up on those later today. So if you haven't had a reply from me by the end today, uh, feel free to send another message and I'll reply to you there as well. And a thank you as well to Hawklin, Astros the Great, Bilbo Fraggins, Saltalor, Rommel DK, Empty Machine, Flight Gamer, Pim, Prince, Midix, Mid, 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 Mid Midixis, something like that, Flom, <laughs> Ebon Dragon, 323, three. Matthew, Callum James 3, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Asgar, and Angry Ares.